Hey guys, this is Jared with Lightshine 3D Services. I wanted to do a tutorial uh, to answer some questions on using the Center Center feature uh, for engraving with an Epilogue laser uh, using Epilogue dashboard or job manager, um, whatever you want to call it. And so I've got a, a Corel Draw file here that has a, just a sample logo. Um, notice that my page size is set to 4 inches by 4 inches. Typically, I'll make a page size that's close to the engraving size that I want. Um, I'm personally not a fan of making the page size the entire laser bed. There's some projects that I do that for, but uh, most, most of the time for Tumblr engraving, I make it a uh, page size that's close to the image size that I'm engraving. So in this case, it's 4x4. Four four. Uh, I just center my image into the page. That's not necessary when you're using center center engraving, um, but it does make it at least at least it helps you kind of organize it in your head a little bit better that this is going to all be centered onto the tumbler or whatever object you're using so in this case um, four inches by four inches I've got my image here I'm gonna now go to print and I'm going to make sure that I'm on my epilogue engraver um, now make sure your page is set to match orientation and size there's there's an explanation of all that um, I believe in the user manual but this is all set up correctly I'm going to hit print and now my dashboard is going to open now you'll notice that you have your preview you have your processes an advanced tab and notes this advanced tab is what you're going to go to and now it has your center point options instead of saying none we're going to use center center now you could use different options here um, such as left center right center um, center center seems to make m the most sense um, if you know where your logo needs to be centered on your tumbler or your item um, just put the red dot there and then this is going to work now that when we go back to preview you'll notice that our screen has now changed we no longer see the entire bed we only see the page size that we had and we see that our image is perfectly centered here. And so now this center center option will be part of the process. So when you send it to your Fusion Pro Laser, um, it, will, it will actually show an icon, your center center icon will be there. Um, and I like to test it with the lid up to make sure that it's going to move exactly where I have placed my red dot and set it as my center point. Um, and any process, that has this center center option it will use the center point that you've set in the machine any process that doesn't have the center center option will just treat it as if you're placing your engraving um, based on the dimensions or your layout on the page um, so it's super helpful hopefully this answers any questions you may have if you wanted to get back to the advanced and then turn off your center center engraving when you go back to preview you'll see that now this is just assuming that it's in the corner top corner of your uh, bed so anyway um, hopefully that helps um, give it a try and uh, give me some feedback if if it works or doesn't work for you thanks